Okay, thank you for joining on this another live stream today. So this is the 17th of May and this is on Monday. So I hope you have a great Monday today. So uh, I had a long day today. So um, I just came back home and um, I took a trade today this morning but I really exited and since then I don't see any trends and I don't see any trades right now. So um, in that sense, let me screen the pairs and see what's happening in the market all together and see which one is trending, which one is ranging in the higher time frames today. And also uh, today, I think uh, the live stream is going to be a bit shorter than usual. Maybe it's going to be about 15 to 20 minutes, but hopefully you enjoy today's live stream. So before standing here, just a quick disclaimer. This information today is basically based on my own understanding, experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. Okay, so Orvin and Saman, Wong, Jorg and James. All right, thank you for joining. Christopher and uh, let's Asif, good to see you again. Thank you for joining and James, good to see you too. Yeah, Digital and ASA, Shuji and Alessman, Jorg, Mr. Fernandez, Karim, Ojisan USA, good to see you and Marusan. Good to see you too. And uh, Surash, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. All right, Yorun, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. All right, Monoron and Jan, good to see you everyone. All right, so let me screen the pairs real quickly. So by the, based on the daily chart, let's see. Based on the uh, daily chart, um, Euro USD is um, slightly uptrending, but now it's retracing backwards and this is ranging now. So um, I think this is flat right now. Oh, is it uh, echoing? The sound is echoing right now? That's uh, strange. Let me check the settings here on the microphone. Okay, hopefully this is okay now. Or maybe um, I think the microphone volume is a bit too, too, uh, too high. So let me adjust it very quickly. Okay, maybe maybe like in this way, and hopefully you see less echo for today's live stream. Okay, so uh, yeah, but once again, thank you for joining everyone, and good to see you. Okay, so. Uh, all right, sounds okay. All right, thank you for the confirmation, Asif. So I will just keep going. So Euro a Euro USD right now. This is and this is a daily chart, and this looks to be uptrending. So I expect the market goes up continuously this way. And so so I'm still on bullish side, but today's like a Doji candlestick, and Kumo is a bit flat side. Single span A's technically uptrending but this is more the flat side flat Kumo and Kijun Sen angle is up but uh, the Tenkan Sen flat and as for price action this is also flat right now it doesn't renew really higher yet and this is more the flat side so if I can find another trending pairs then I will go for them but if I can find three edges on this particular pair, then I take it to buy. But in this condition, I would say that this is um, less priority because I think I think the market uptrend is a bit bit uh, weaker in this situation because of this Kumo and Kijun Sen structure. And also, yeah, if you see this price action, it's been ranging right now. We have the Doji candlestick right now, and this is more of the range side. So I think this is not really a strong uptrend or a stable uptrend, but this is more of the retracement side. So in this case, I will just skip this one and if I can find another trending pairs, then I will just go for them. So on the weekly basis, the purple ones are trending on the weekly basis from yesterday's live stream. So in that sense, let me check the Euro JPY. Euro JPY was up on the weekly chart 
and let's see what's happening on the daily chart and the daily chart is uptrending so in this case I will keep an eye on this Euro JPY then Euro USD and look for three edges because I can see that this is more of the stable uptrend at this moment so we have to confirm the trend on the mid time frames which are 1 or 30 minute time frames so let's check the 1 hour chart in 1 it's flat right now also in 30 minute chart it's flat also so you know that this is not the best timing to look for buy chance in lower time frames so let's move on to EuroCAD another trending pair which was downtrending and the daily chart is flat right now. Kijun Sen is down, but uh, but the Tenkan Sen sorry the Tenkan Sen down, but the Kijun Sen flat. So Kijun Sen flat. So that means the market has been retracing backwards at the moment. So we have a nice Kumo down trending. So we have to wait for the Kijun Sen down, and look for the sell chance next time. And as you already know, the Kijun Sen takes for the last 26 candles hand low. So in that sense, you can count the number of candles to the past like this way. And uh, 26 candles will be here. The 12th of April was the 26 candles before. And uh, it takes a high, which was exactly on the 21st of April which was at 1.5192 level with a high and the low was here from the 12th of May and it was a uh, 1.48 sorry 1.4581 level and Kijun Sen is a mid price at the moment so in order for the Kijun Sen to go down uh, most likely the market should break downwards in this condition which can take more time. Otherwise, the Kijun Sen remains flat as long as the most recent high is valid on this Kijun Sen calculation. So, uh, so in that sense, based on this uh, daily time frame, I think it's still flat, it's retracing backwards, and I don't expect that the market is going to go down anytime soon. So, uh, in that sense, I think yeah, we just better stay away on this pair too. Or you can simply look at the lower time frame, which is Huawei chart, and see if Huawei chart is also going down. So let's check Huawei chart. All right, in Huawei chart, it's flat also, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span overlapping. So you know that this is ranging market. So today's Monday, and on Mondays, usually the market is very ranging. So and there is no big news today on these currency pairs, on the major ones. So I think the best option for now is just to stay away from the market. So that's a EuroCAD, but in a weekly basis, this is this was downtrending, but now it's flat. But this is bearish on the weekly basis. So we can expect the market go down on the daily chart. So um, it can happen tomorrow or sometime this week. The market can break the previous support level and breaks down, and then we can look for the sell chance. Otherwise, the market still continues to, to be in the range, or it can retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen at some point. So that's a EuroCAD analysis along with the weekly trend. So let's cover the uh, Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD daily chart is also flat. We have Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, so the price can retrace backwards to the Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen in this condition. And let's see, for the chart, this is flat also. You see, you have the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikou Span has been tracing the past candles, so it can be ranging. In this condition, as per Chikou Span uniqueness, Chikou Span traces, usually traces past candles like this way. So we can expect for the next couple of hours, it can continuously be in the range like this. So in that sense, 
Dota Cat is not also a good pair to look for a sale chance right now. So let me do some other analysis on the pairs which were trending on a weekly basis. And the next one is the pound USD. Yeah, so pound USD, I, found, I saw that yeah, this was ascending P wave on the weekly chart. Like I mentioned yesterday, you can find the P wave, ascending P wave, ascending triangle, and I expect the market breaks the previous resistance level up this way, which was at 1.4168 level. I expect the market breaks upwards the resistance, but looks like today is consolidating. Today is no trend. So uh, if I can just go down to the daily chart, you can find that it's ranging. This is Doji candlestick today. And so um, the market could retrace the previous uh, resistance level and breaks down, uh, goes down this way. And it can test the support line and it could go up afterwards like this way. This is one of the scenarios. So in this situation, I expect the market breaks upwards the resistance, but uh, unless it happens, it can retest also the trend line on the weekly chart. So I think you better wait for the breakout of the resistance, which was at the 1.4168 level, and look for the buy chance afterwards. Or you can go down to lower time frames. If you see one hour chart to be uptrending within this ascending triangle, then you can still take a trade and expect the market breaks the previous resistance level. But today, there is no decent trend, so I expect the next trend could happen due to this pound news news this week. Especially the FMC could be affecting this particular pair, so when the news release, it can impact the market and it can break the resistance level. Otherwise, no trade because it's ranging retracing right now. So on these forex pairs, usually on Mondays are have uh, less volatility, less volume in the forex market, and that's why you have less trend, less confirmations on Mondays. So if there is no decent trend on the Monday on the daily chart or forward chart basis, then simply you better stay away. It's my opinion. So let's cover the pound JPY on the weekly chart. Yeah, on the weekly chart, yesterday was bullish because we saw the Kumo, Kumo up and Kijun Sen up. But now you can find the Kumo Sen Kuspam Ace flat and also Kijun Sen flat on the weekly chart like this. So that means the market could retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen initially. And when the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, then it can reach backwards to the Kijun Sen. So weekly chart, there is no trend at the moment. It's retracing or consolidating. So let me check the daily chart. Yes, and on the daily chart, it's also flat. We have the Kumo is uh, gradually moving up, but the Kijun Sen flat. So this is retracing backwards and there is no previous resistance breakout yet. So unless the market breaks the previous resistance at this uh, 154.46 level, it could retrace backwards too. It can retest the previous resistance level and breaks upwards this way too. So uh, in that sense, this is still ranging right now. So this is not the best timing to look for buy chance because it could retrace backwards on a daily basis. So uh, yeah, always I look for the trending pairs and if not, if it's not trending, then simply I stay away, is my advice. All right, Hannah Paul, Gustavo, thank you for joining. Melanie, Deborah, good to see you. Thank you for joining everyone. All right, let's see. Good to see everyone. Thank you for joining here. All right, gold has been uptrending right now. Yeah, let me check the gold. 
I have been looking for the buy chance in gold today, but uh, I didn't take it because I couldn't find the confirmations to buy. But this is the gold daily chart and this is uptrending right now. We have the Kumo up and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen up and Chikou Span above the candles. So gold is bullish today for sure. And you have to make sure that there is no previous resistance levels at the current close price. So uh, let's see, the previous resistance is over here at the 1875 level. So we have enough room still to take trades up to the previous resistance. So um, you can look at the one hour chart. And let's see, in one, this is up also. Kumo's up, Kijun Sen is up. There was a nice retracement and the market was bounced off of the Kijun Sen and it goes up this way. So this is a nice market to look for the buy chance at the moment. Yeah, most likely after this live stream ends, I will look for the buy chance on this gold. And we'll keep holding it until the market reaches to the initial target of uh, 1875.5. Yeah, so no doubt this is uptrend. So this is very good and very stable uptrend because in this one hour chart too, the, after the Kumo twisted here, the Kumo has been bullish and that Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen up and it's cool spun above the candles too. So this is a stable, a nice uptrend right now. Yeah, there is no sign of retracement. So I will be looking for the buy chance this week on gold continuously. Yeah, Soresh, that's right. Yeah, gold is up right now. So you can look for the buy chance right now. This is good. Orvin says, I hit the few stop losses and break even the gold and silver today. So if you have the stop losses on the gold or silver, which were trending, that means it's either your stop loss might be too tight or uh, you exit too early. Yeah, no doubt this is uptrending. So uh, you can just keep holding the buy as long as it goes up. But once the market retraces, then simply you exit at the right timing uh, based on your own rule and after exit if the market still goes to the, the towards the direction then simply you re, uh, you re-enter the market yeah you re-enter the market and still trade the profit that way i think uh yeah so this is about the risk management yeah it's all about risk management uh, like I talked about risk management with uh, Suresh before on the previous video. Um, risk management is the key in this condition. Yeah, because the gold could be very spiky. If you see on this one hour chart, the gold retraces backwards. It seems to be uptrending along the way, but it re retraces backwards to the Kijun Sen and it was supported by the Kijun Sen and now it's going up this way. So once you find the breakout of the previous high, which was at 1855.52, then you can look for the buy chance. Otherwise, it could be resisted at the previous resistance level and it can be a double top and the price can retrace backwards to Kumo. So, now the price is re going upwards and broke the previous re previous resistance. So I think this is bullish and you can continuously look for the buy chance in this particular market. Yep, so you can uh, wait for the edge to come on this particular case. All right, Mart says, um, what about USC's front? All right, so let's check the data sys run. Okay, data sys run on the daily chart as per Ichimoku basis, this is bearish. 
We have Kumo's down, Kijun Sen down, and Chikou spam below the candles, and this is bearish. So it can break the previous resist, previous support level at this uh, 0 0.8985 level. It can break downwards this way, and this is continuously bearish in a wave. Yeah, but one thing you have to be careful for the switch from here is that it can retrace backwards at any time. So, uh, yeah, just be careful for the spiky market on the lower time frames. Otherwise, you should be fine. All right. Yeah, Nasar, good to see you here. And Bestiani, thank you for joining as well. Very good to see you again. In gold, where would you put the stop loss? So Rich asked. So let me see. For the gold, coming back to gold right now. Um, if you trade based on daily chart, then you have to put the stop loss below the Tenkan Sen level or below the previous low, which is going to be at 1806.16 level. This is the stop loss you have to place. Because once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen and breaks the previous support, then it can retrace backwards to Kumo. So this is the good stop loss level for one of the strategies. But myself, I look for the stop loss based on the lower time frames. So uh, for me, if I look at the 15 in this case, a stop loss would be below the previous low, which was at below here, 1843 level. I will put the stop loss at 1843.16 level and holding the buy after the breakout at some point. Yeah, because we have the previous two twice supports here, twice supports. So once the market breaks the previous support level, then it can go down this way. So I think that will be a good stop loss level if you're looking for the buy chance. And if you actually take trade the buy, so always look at the waves on lower time frames. And usually I have this, uh, I have this uh, stop loss on the lower time frame basis. Even if you take the 5 bin chart in this case, I think that will be the same stop loss. Yeah, because in 5 mini chart, the price has been going up on the I wave and there is no retracement. So I will put the stop loss at 1843.16 level if I take the 5 minute chart too. Alright. Yeah, Kayong, thank you for joining. All right, Raghavenda, thank you for joining too. Good to see you here. Eighteen sixty-six level of resistance. Yeah, it could be because that's the previous high, so that will be an initial target. All right, uh, Orvin. Yes, you can re-enter the market always. Yeah, just exit very early with a minimum loss. And if the market still goes up or down towards the direction, then you can always re-enter the market. And that's a very important mindset. Yeah, one thing that you don't want to run the losses. That's for sure. Yeah, so cut the loss very quickly and try to extend the profit as much as, much as possible is a key to success. To become a non-losing trader mindset. All right, thank you for joining Kayon and thank you for the reminder Kayon. So if you like today's live stream, please press the good button and please press the sub subscription, subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these live streams and videos every day on my YouTube channel. Let's see, Pounce is fun. 
um, let's see, pound suit run has been, I think, ranging on a daily basis. Yeah, it's too spiky, it's ranging. The price is exactly in the Kumo now, so it's not, there's no trend. And Aussie CAD. Yeah, the Aussie CAD has been still retracing backwards, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and this is ranging now. So the price could retrace backwards to the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen when they are flat. So basically, when I find the Tenkan Sen, especially Kijun Sen to be flat on these higher time frames, then I don't enter anything. Because the market could retrace backwards to Kijun Sen in theory. So every time I take trades, I make sure that the Kumo's down and Kijun Sen down on higher time frames and take trades. Otherwise, it could retrace backwards. To Kijun Sen or Kumo. Yeah, what I mean by Kumo is the Senko Span B. The price could retrace backwards to Senko Span B when Senko Span B is still flat. In this particular case, AD CAD uh, Senko Span B is down. So this is downtrend in the long term, but it doesn't mean that it keeps going down because the Kijun Sen flat and Tenkan Sen flat. So the price could retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, but as long as the Senko Span B points down, it can go down this way. But um, the thing is that we're not sure how far the price retraces backwards in this condition, and that's why I say that this is not the best timing to sell, because the price could retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen when they are flat like this, and that's why simply I don't. Take trades on this particular case. All right, Fairy. Good to see you from Indonesia. All right, Mars, you're welcome. Okay, yeah, Sorosh. Yeah, I do too. I do take trades on based on the five or fifteen minute time frames. That's for sure. Alexandre, thank you for pressing the like button. Thank you for that. All right, Irvin. Yeah, retracement bounce could be happening too. That's true in gold. Yeah, Bass and uh, Venant. Good to see you here, Nico. Thank you for joining here. Okay, Venant says, uh, "Would you be able to take a look at the US hundred, five hundred, and lower time frames, one or four for our chart?" Let's see. Let me go to index and switch to S&P. As per daily chart is flat now. Kuma flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span too close, and looks like the market is ranging at the moment. And um, yeah, let me check the forward chart. In four also, it's ranging flat. You can see the Kuma flat, like this very thin Kuma here flat, Kijun Sen flat also, and Chikou Span overlapping the past candles, and this is ranging as per Ichimoku. In terms of the price action, this could be uptrend or it could be downtrend. If you can see the chart in the long term, it could be downtrend like this. But as per Ichimoku confirmations, it's flat. Yeah, it's flat. Like uh, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and also, this is another important point, is that the uh, when you see the price exactly in between the Kijun Sen and Kumo, it's also range in definition of Ichimoku. So Kijun Sen is a green one, and the Kumo is obviously, you know, this uh, part, or Senko Spoon B and A, it's, this is Kumo here. And I can see in forward chart, in forward chart, the price is exactly between the Kumo Kijun Sen and when you see this condition, this is ranging. So it's very difficult to foresee which way it's going. Even the price breaks a Kumo in this case upwards this way. It can be fake also. It can be fake and the price can drop downwards to Kumo or Senko Span B. So yeah, to make the long story short, this is the market stay away. I never take trades in this condition.
All right, Orvin, thank you for the like button. Faiz and Abbas, thank you for joining. Also, good to see you. Abbas, thank you for joining from Sweden. Good to see you here. Yeah, we're all here to study about Ichimoku, the markets, and yeah, to become a non-losing trader, first of all. And then ultimately to become a profitable trader. And hopefully I can uh, help you in that way in my YouTube channel. Abbas says, uh, please look at the German 30 DAX. All right, let's see. DAX index, I have it on the uh, watch list. So let me take a look at the daily chart. In the daily chart, looks like this is on the range and this is called Y wave because the highs are getting higher at the moment and lows are getting lower technically and this is called the Y wave structure. And when I see Y wave in the daily chart or forward chart, then simply I stay away because it's a very tricky market in this condition. And as you can see Kumo here, Kumo has been flat. And Kijun Sen flat also. So the price could retrace backwards at the previous resistance level, which was at 15,500 level. The price could retrace backwards to Kijun Sen or Kumo. So unless the market breaks upwards this way, I won't take a buy. And uh, in this condition, it could retrace backwards at the resistance level because once again, the price is Y wave structure and Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. Uh, because in order for the market to break the resistance support level, the Kumo should be up and Kijun Sen should be up and also Chikou span should be above the candles or below the candles. Otherwise, it can retrace backwards. So, every time you take trades, um, in my mindset is that the um, you don't want to take the 50-50 chance. Yeah, 50-50 chance is not the market to be in because um, you know it could retrace backwards in 50 chance, and you don't want to do that because um, if you keep doing it then you might lose over time. So every time I take trades, um, I make sure that the market is trending. So that means the market could, re market could break the previous resistance level or support level up or downwards. Otherwise, I won't take trades. And I think this is a very important mindset to remind. And in this condition particularly, I think the price there's a chance, there's a chance that the price could retrace backwards, you know, at the previous resistance level, because like I, like I mentioned before, this is in Y wave, and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, and Chikou span very close with the candles. So, if you take a buy from here, then you might get a stop loss. So in this particular case, I wait for the breakout. But let's say in this condition, if I find the Kumo up and Kijun Sen up like this way, then the, the story be, will be different. I expect the market breaks the previous resistance upwards this way because that's bullish and I can see more buyers than sellers in the market in this daily time frame. So I think, uh, yeah, that's one of the mindset change when I became a break-even trader to full-time or profitable trader is that the uh, I always make sure to capture trending market and just write on it. So the retracement to happen and break-evens to happen and small losses to happen and that's inevitable because uh, you know you cannot control the market Sometimes it goes backwards and then you just exit. But if you keep trading towards the direction on the major time frames, 
then the price most likely will break the previous resistance and continues to go up and that's when I take a buy. And by using Ichimoku 5 lines, it becomes very easy and, and also simple and powerful. And that's something that I'll try to show in this YouTube live stream. But I think it comes from experience, of course, it comes from experience. And I don't want to believe, yeah, I don't want to believe that my strategy works on anybody. Because uh, I don't think it works unless you practice it. So after you learn my strategy of Ichimoku, how to capture trends, how to expect, how to foresee the potential breakout or not, like this way, Kumo, Kijun-sen structure, and Chikospan structure, and you can practice it, you can backtest by Fruxis 5 or uh, trading view, you can practice it, or real trade, you can practice, and then you get confidence. Because, um, yeah, after all, it's about all about experience. And knowledge becomes useless unless you experience it, is my philosophy too. So, let's see. Siddharth Shin says, um, Sir, please describe how to analyze and trade using Ichimoku with Bollinger Bands 200. Um, I don't use the Bollinger Band 200, so I'm not sure. I only use uh, 20 double Bollinger Bands. And I don't use it with the Ichimoku. I only use the Bollinger Bands in lower time frames in 5 by 15. And I don't use Ichimoku on these lower time frames. Yes, Sander, good to see you here. Thank you for joining here. He says, today Nifty has gone a good move upside. Can you have a look at it? All right, let's check the Nifty. Since I know there are lots of traders from India. Let me check Nifty chart. I'm sorry. Come back to index and switch into Nifty chart. Um, yeah, you can find daily chart. It's bullish today. But I still can see that this is within the range or within the flag on the daily chart, on the weekly chart. It's still within the flag. So once once the market reaches to the previous resistance level, then it can break upwards or it can go down this way. So unless the market breaks the descending trend line, I would wait to buy because it might retrace backwards in this condition. And you can see so because the Kumo flat as per Ichimoku, of course, Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span has been overlapping. And you can see that the Chikou span has been tracing the past candles like this. This is called Chikou span uh, synchronization. Chikou span has been synchronizing to the previous candles like this. So the Chikou span, if the Chikou span, Chikou span traces the past candles to the future, then Chikou span will go down this way. So the price could also retrace backwards this way as a result. So from these reasons, this is not a good timing to buy yet because I can see the potential retracement this week on this nifty chart. So, but if the market breaks the previous descending trend line upwards like this way, and also if it breaks the previous resistance level at this 15 or for 6 level, then for sure uh, the Chikou span will also break upwards this way, and um, you can look for the buy chance in that condition. I think if it happens, then the market is outside of the flag and it can continuously bullish. Otherwise, this is still bearish to me. And in that case, you don't take trade. You might get stop losses when you take a buy in this condition. So just be careful. 
and you have to be very, very precise on exactly when you look for buy or sell chances, when it's trending or not. Dylan says, um, Mr. K, do you just enter the trade on your weekly analysis uh, trending market or only or enter other uh, pairing that trending on daily time frame or lower time frames? Yes, basically I take trades, I follow the trends based on the daily chart forward chart. So during the day, I, I uh, check daily or four and follow the market direction. But that's because I am a forex trader. I only take trades on these uh, forex pairs on my watch list. Otherwise, um, I don't take any trades. And plus, I also take trades on gold. But um, otherwise, I only take trades on these forex pairs, major ones and minor ones. And that's why um, I build my strategy like this way. But if you are trading on the stock markets or indexes, I recommend you to take the monthly chart trend or weekly trend, which is unlikely in forex pairs, or monthly is kind of unlikely. On the weekly trend we find on forex pairs, on, but the monthly chart, monthly trends can is can kind of unlikely. But on the stock market or indexes, you can find monthly trend or weekly trend so much and you can follow it and you can confirm the trend on the daily chart or chart and take trades based on one hour chart or 30 minute chart. With the same strategy, it's possible. You just switch time frame, but basically you use the same strategy so that you can switch the time frame and you can switch which time frame you go for, which time frame trend you write on it so that you become an uh, intraday to swing to super swing traders. And I think it depends on the trader style and also it depends on which market you will be in. Tolka says, can you look at the dollar CAD, one on chart and forward chart, third minute chart? I think it goes down and it's about to Tenkan Sen dead cross on forward chart. All right, so dollar CAD forward chart, let me take a look at it. So first of all, on the daily chart, it's still flat Kijun Sen. So it could retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. And if you see the forward chart, this is also flat. Yeah, Kumo's down nicely, but Kijun Sen flat, and Chikou Span still, still very close. So, yeah, as Tolga mentioned, you can find that the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross can be in the place. I mean, um, it can happen on the next candlestick because uh, Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen is exactly overlapping. Let me cancel the candlesticks right now. And you can clearly see that the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen is touching and this is overlapping. But to me, this is not the cross yet. The cross happens when the lines separate on the Ichimoku. And this is uh, one of the uniqueness of Ichimoku is that because they take the Hane price, they take the mid price. Um, sometimes they completely overlap Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, or Senko Span B, they completely overlap. So when they overlap, it's not a cross. So you have to wait for the timing when they separate and the, it becomes a, the cross in definition of Ichimoku. So it's like uh, the previous one, like um, when you find these days, these are, I think this is in the forward chart, so on these hours, I would say, on these, uh, yeah, hours, 16 hours, it's been overlapping, the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, but exactly on the next four hour, 
the Tenkan-sen Kijun-sen became separated. So the last one was exactly when the Tenkan-sen Kijun-sen death cross happened. And from here, you can expect the market goes down continuously this way. So in that sense, um, right now, they are still touching, but uh, they are not crossing yet. So you have to find, you have to wait until the Tenkan Sen exactly goes below the Kijun Sen and look for the buy chance afterwards. Otherwise, it can still go upwards and breaks the Kijun Sen upwards to Kumo. Alright, Jejiro says, um, when you take profit is at the um, predetermined level, or do you wait until the ch uh, Ichimoku um, stops trending, stop trending, or in your direction? Uh, so basically, I take profit when Ichimoku stops the direction. So usually, I don't set the target. I don't set the take profit level. I take profit when the Ichimoku says it's flat. Orin says, uh, is scar 6 confirmation be better to use in 5.15? Yes. It's for 5.15 main time frames. Alessman says, I have a question. You recently said that you like to use a scale 6 indicator with setting 30, 10, 10. Can you explain again in which context you find your entry through the indicator in M15? So basically, when it's downtrending, I take dead cross in, on scale 6. And when it's uptrending, simply I take the gold cross on scale 6. And that could be one of the confirmations for, for entries. But you have to back up more reasons based on this cross stress crosses because um, because um, you cannot take trace on one single confirmation in my opinion because sometimes a scarcity cross can be fake and it goes up against it or it goes down against it so make sure you have another confirmations along with scarcity cross to take trace is my advice. And same as uh, same as a uh, Tokyo box breakout. When you find Tokyo box breakout, then simply don't take it as by itself. You have to also look at the price action. You have to see if the price breaks the Tokyo box in 515 clearly, or if you have to see if it's trend line bounce or if if that happens at the resistance resistance line breakout in higher time frames, or um, you have to find whether it's a bounce of the Fibonacci level, or you have to look at it with a stochastic cross or Bollinger bands. So you never take the signal by itself is the key. You have to have backups. You have to have reasons to take trades, and Never take trades by one single reason, is my opinion. And this is good because uh, so that when the market retraces backwards, then you know when exactly to exit. Yeah, a bit um, at the BC. You're welcome. Alright, Jeremiah, you're welcome too. Thank you for the words. Okay. Jeju Doji, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Shidahara says, uh, please con recommend a book for learning hidden secrets of Ichimoku, which is easily available in PDF form and English language. And your own replied, I have the books which are available on my Ichimoku community. 
So uh, please access to the website that um, Yurun actually placed on the chat right now. Or you can access the below link description, description and um, you can find uh, what kind of books available in my Ichimoku community at the moment. So right now I have three books or two books and one booklet I have and I share within the Ichimoku community. So right now we have Ichimoku Basic Master Book which is about the th five lines of Ichimoku, the essence of five lines and also uh, Ichimoku Basic Theories which are, is about the wave theory and time theory and price theory. And these are available free to download once you join the Ichimoku community. And also there is um, Kyushulex. Yeah, Kyushulex is another unique strategy of Ichimoku. And I have the booklet which is also available in the Ichimoku community here. So yeah. Um, you're always welcome to join the Ichimoku community through the link below or through the link on the chat box. Joke says, uh, what do you think about taking tries in one chart, Ichimoku chart regarding to daily trend chart or to cut off the noise in 5 or 15 minute chart? Um, I think, um, yeah, the retracement should happen. So the point is that when the market doesn't go towards the major direction, then simply you exit in these lower time frames is my mindset. Because um, I want to cut the losses very short, but when the market goes towards my direction, then I keep holding it. Um, as long as possible. Yeah. Venan says, um, Hi K, if you have more than one trade opportunity to on non-correlated pairs, do you take more than one trade or only only ever one trade at a time? Yes, um, only one trade at a time I take trades. Yeah, I think so. Um, because um, from the moment when you take a trade, you risk 2%. And unless you move the stop loss to break even, you're still risking 2%. And in that condition, you don't want to take another 2% risk. Because if you lose on these two trades, then that would be 4% four, four, four risk as a whole. So, um, and you don't want to do that. Always, as a whole, whole equity or whole market, you want to risk 2% as a whole. So, unless you move it to break even, you never take another trade. Is is actually my rule. It's my rule. Oh, Sarosh, thank you for recommending my books. So yeah, now this um, Ichimoku Basic Must Book is version 4. It's the latest version. And this is available in the PDF format. And I keep, keep revising these books so that I can uh, add more charts, more recent charts and more updated information on these books. And I keep revising these books and that's why these are only available in PDF format and these are only available for Ichimoku community members for now. Yeah, but thank you for Sarosh for your recommendation. Yeah, it took a, it took a long month, a couple of months to re to write these books. So uh, Initially, I only released this uh, Ichimoku Basic Master Book 
because uh, before I start to talk about the three theories, um, I wanted members to fully understand the essence of five lines. Otherwise, you cannot understand the essence of the price theory and time theory and wave theory either. Because um, Ichimoku is originally at, with the five lines, like this uh, Senkospan B and A, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, and Chikou Span as a five line. And this is the basics of the Ichimoku. And on top of that, there is a time theory, and there's a wave theory, and also price theory. But if you can understand the the uh, the five lines, then um, you cannot practice. You cannot uh, understand the price theory or time theory because they have to go together, and you cannot really understand the essence of the forecast lines either. The forecast lines. So, uh, yeah, it was my challenge for me to uh, to be able to to uh, explain the essence of this uh, this uh, knowledge through these original books of Ichimoku. So, um, this is one of the original books that I uh, that I often read. But uh, to make sure that the uh, you know these are not the translation of these original books. Uh, these are written based on my own experience, knowledge. Through my experience, I wrote these books. So please understand that these are not the original translation. Because due to copyright, nobody, no one can translate the original books. So by respecting Goichi Hoso's work on these original books, I never translate these original ones but based on my own understanding experience, I wrote these books. So please understand, but because this is important. Yeah. Jeff and Tolga, you're welcome. All right, Jorg, you're welcome too. Makina says, if there are any indicators that can predict drawdowns. Um, I don't think there are such an indicator to predict the drawdowns. You have to manage manually on the stop losses and risk risk for trade and lot sizing. Araha says, Mr. K, I like to join Ichimoku community and first want to learn from the books. Sure, you're all welcome to join the Ichimoku community. For sure. Alright. Sidarish also, always welcome to join. And on my um, membership, Ichimoku members, I do the membership lives every Thursdays and Saturdays. And on these public lives, I do it almost every day at 11 p.m. in Japan time, which is one hour ago. I do this every day. Sometimes it becomes a live stream, sometimes it becomes a video session, but almost every day I try to explain the market through the Ichimoku on my YouTube channel every day in public. But for the membership, I do this on every Thursdays and th sa Saturdays on top of these public live streams. Okay, yep. Ken Lee, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. Venant says, okay, thanks for ad addressing my question. One final question. Do you sometimes take partial profits or do you let your full positions run after setting the break even. Um, I take partial profits along the way. I do. Yes, let's see. Venant says, also, when you move to Dubai, make sure to drink some good juice from the shop Al... Al... Uh, 
La Jaza, Al La Jaza. All right. I will search it afterwards on the internet and look look for the shop. Thank you for the information. I will look for the drink for sure when I move to Dubai. Okay. Hello, Orania. Thank you for joining here. Silver is also up trending. Let me see. The silver right now is, yeah, it's a nice up trend. It broke the previous resistance now. This is in forward chart. It's up trending. And let me switch it to the daily chart. As per daily chart, it's also uptrending and it looks like the market reaching to, to the previous resistance level at 28.3449 level. So yeah, this is a nice uptrend at the moment. Thank you for the information, Orania. This is good. Ogu says, um, Hello Mr. K, do you think Ichimoku is suitable for using in volatile markets such as cryptocurrencies um, technically i think yes because ichimoku works on any markets because it's a technical indicator it's universal among any pairs or any markets but one thing is that the uh, i don't take cryptos currencies trades so i can only analyze the charts on cryptocurrencies based on Ichimoku and but um, and you can capture market conditions by Ichimoku and I think it works I think it works because it's universal among any pairs any markets at least it works on the forex markets and stock markets indexes commodities so I believe that it works on the cryptocurrencies because if you analyze chart by cryptocurrencies by candlesticks then Ichimoku should also work in that sense. But uh, because cryptocurrencies uh, you know, are affected by the news or fundamentals or other uh, factors from outside, in that sense, uh, if these things happen, let's say you know, some big fund or a big you know, company, big firms buy the cryptocurrency, and the price just shoots up or when they sell it the price shoots down in that case no technical indicators will work yeah because I believe technical indicators including Ichimoku works when there is no surprise when there is no big news or when there is no fundamental news but if there is a fundamental news then always or most of the cases when they affect the market, then it can violate any indicators confirmations. So, so in that case, uh, you know, Ichimoku doesn't work that way. So in that sense, um, for myself, it's kind of doubtful that the Ichimoku works or not on these cryptocurrencies because of the less volume in the market and less history. Uh, and on the on the market technically it works technically it works because of course other as like other indicators Ichimoku is also derived from the highs and lows of market on the daily chart or forward chart it works but in terms of the fundamentals or in terms of these volumes or in terms of history um, I'm not sure if it, if it works or not it's my honest opinion All right, Michael, thank you for joining from Portugal. Sorry. Um, Pragu, sorry, Pragu. Thank you for joining to see here. Okay, Mertz, you're welcome. You're welcome. So I guess I will be ending the live stream in about a couple of minutes for now. So yeah, briefly coming back to these Forex pairs. Right now, I have no positions. I took the trade on the Euro um, JPY early in the morning in Japan time today but uh, because it was uptrending on the daily chart and I also saw that N1 was uptrending too 
but I already exited because I found the market reverses backwards on the lower time frame. And one, it's flat and breaks the Kijun Sen now. The market breaks the Kijun Sen and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching. So, yeah, it's an it's a exit timing for me. So, I exit it. So there is no position at the moment, and this is Monday, so there is there is no big news in the market. If you can find the calendar, um, there is no big news on Monday today. So, um, but tomorrow, or this is a, this is a reminder, but this Wednesday we have FOMC in the U.S. So FOMC, you have to be careful on Monday, late Monday. Sorry, late Wednesday, sorry, late Wednesday. We have to be careful. But otherwise, uh, the market should be going along with the technical analysis indicators. So, yeah, once again, thank you for joining everyone on my live stream for today. And once again, if you liked it, please press a good button before you leave. And please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these live streams or videos every day on my YouTube channel. So, so the new week started today. So I hope you have uh, you have enough patience to wait for the next decent trend comes, and when the chance comes, when you have confirmations, then. Just enter the market logically, objectively, and rationally. And when you when you see the market reverses backwards against you, then simply you exit. Exit with a very small loss, so that once you find the big wave comes, you can ride on it, and um, you can cover these past small losses by these couple of big wins. Okay, so I will see you on the next one and until then please stay healthy everyone the covid case is still increasing worldwide so i hope you yourself your family and your friends are safe and healthy so i pray from japan i pray from japan for your health condition so uh we have to we grow together this way so thank you for joining and i will see you soon once again so thank you for joining again and stay gold Alright, bye for now. Matane, thank you. I say matane and matane means see you in Japanese. So, matane, thank you.